What is up, YouTube? This is Stratto here, bringing you another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi battle. This time, it was an OU-ish mixed-tier battle against old-school Pokemon. Uh, he brings his Leafeon, uh, Ambipom, and he brings an Absol, so there's a couple NUs right there, so I don't feel as bad. But I bring in Float Cell on my team because... Why not? Because it's faster than Azumarill, which sucks, in my opinion. So, anyways, this is just basic rain team. I have my Thunderous, does stuff, Jirachi, my Annoyer, uh, Gashardon, and uh, Feral Foreign serve as my walls. On his team, he just has some random stuff. So, we basically just decided, why not, let's fight, and... It, it turned out to be a pretty good match. It was a little bit hexy on my side, but it happens. But it was still a pretty decent match, so let's just get on to the bat hole once this thing clicks. And there we go. So, I yeah, am going to lead off with my powwow, polytoad, set up that rain, make it shower. And he's going to go into his Konoha, the Leafeon. So, this is a weird kind of Leafeon in my opinion, because it's got the Swords Dance and stuff, so, yeah. I'm gonna go into my Feral Foreign just be because I fear Leaf Blade, but he's gonna go for a Swords Dance, and I'm just like, okay, fine by me. And he's gonna go for a knockoff here, and I'm like, wait, what? Did he just go for a Swords Dance knockoff? But it doesn't matter in my opinion, so I'm just gonna set up my Stealth Cox here, and he's gonna get some Leftovers Recovery. And I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave here because I like paralyzing all the things. He's going to go for another Sword Stance. I'm like, you greedy bastard. So basically, I'm going to get the chance to paralyze him here, like I said. And then he's going to Baton Pass, I believe. But he's paralyzed this turn, so I guess it's all nice. So that gives me a turn to set up some spikes because it's always good to get them entry hazards up on a field. So now he's going to not get paralyzed, he's going to baton pass, I was thinking maybe he'll baton pass to paralysis, and I was thinking, wait a second, he can only baton pass confusion, what was I thinking, so, he's going to go into his Absol now, and I'm like, oh great, this thing, because I was fearing the superpower, but he goes for the Megahorn said, so I was impressed. So I go for the Power Whip, nearly kill it, he does miss the first Megahorn, but hits the second one, and he, and I still manage to survive, so... That's all good. So now he's going to switch into his Hydreigon. I know I'm going to die, so I'm just going to leave this in as fodder because I don't want anything else to take a hit because that would just be plain stupid. So now I'm going to go into my special wall, my Gastrodon, and I know I can take anything from this. So he's going to switch out, and he's going to go into his Conkeldur, and I'm going to go for the Skeld because... Or wait, I don't go for the Skeld. I go for a Toxic. What was I thinking? And I think I go for a Toxic e No, I switch out because I know I have really low defense. So I'm going to go with Jirachi now. He's going to go for the bulk up. I'm like, okay, fine by me. So he's going to get that attack and defense boost. Get that leftovers recovery. I'm going to sub up because I don't really want to take too many hits. But he goes for another bulk up. So I'm like, once again, you greedy bastard. So I'm going to just crush you next turn. So... Yeah, be on the lookout for that. He's going to go for the Mach Punch here. I'm like, okay, fine by me. That doesn't really threaten me too much because I'm going to go for the Water Pulse here. I get the Pseudo Stab from the Rain. I don't get Confusion, unfortunately, which really sucks. So, yeah, he's going to go for yet another Mach Punch. And it's going to do a decent amount to my Jirachi. Even though I have no defense EVs whatsoever. I go for the Thunder here. Get the Paralysis, which is always nice. And then he goes for yet another Mach Punch. And I'm just like, okay, I think I can take it. I think I can take this. But no, I actually die. He gets the max damage hacks right there. Which is, I guess, payback. But it was also guts boosted, I think. Unless he was running Sheer Force, so... I'm going to go into my uh, float cell here. I go to the Aqua Jet, not, and it doesn't do anything, and he's going to be able to take me out from Mach Punch, which really sucks, because I really wanted to use my float cell, because I know it's a pretty good sweeper in the rain. So now I'm going to go into my Thunderous now, which is Scarfed, and he's going to go for the Mach Punch, 
And I'm thinking I could take that hit because I resist it, which I do. Live to hit, which is always nice. So I'm going to go for a Thunder, and that'll take care of the Conkleder once and for all. So get lost, you big meaty thing. Now he's going to go into his Hydreigon here. And I'm going to switch out because I don't feel like going for the Thunder on it. And I'm going to go... And plus, my Politoed specially defensive, so it's all good. He's going to go for that Draco Meteor. I don't care. I could take yet another one, so... Yeah. He's going to go for a Draco. He misses. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, and I think thought I could kill him, but he lives it, unfortunately, for me. So, I know he's probably locked into a that uh, Draco, so I'm gonna go for a Protect, just get some more HP, which guarantees a survival of a uh, Draco, so he's gonna go for Draco one more time, and then I'm gonna be able to revenge kill him with Ice Beam. Or, wait a second, I forgot, he dies to the Life Orb. He should've just switched out, in my opinion, I don't know. But now he's gonna go into his Deoxys, I hate Deoxys so much, I don't know why. So, I'm going to go for a Protect here just to see what it wants to do. He's going to go for a Stealth Rock, and I was like, God damn it, I wasted a turn. So, yeah, I'm going to go for the Skeld here because I want to burn this thing. Because to doing a Toxic is just plain stupid. So, he's going to set up his Spikes. I'm going to go for a Skeld. I get a crit, and I get a... Oh, I don't get the burn, never mind. But I get a crit, so I guess that's even more proof that I hacked the hell out of this guy so he's gonna recover up fine by me I'm just gonna keep spamming skelds all day every day and now he gets to burn which is nice for me basically he's just gonna keep recovering and stuff but this turn he surprises me he goes for that nightshade he does a decent amount to my polytoad and I'm gonna go for a skeld I I I was like, come on, please kill Skeld, but it, no, not going to happen. So, I was thinking this turn he was going to go for yet another Night Sheet. I mean, not another Night Sheet to recover, so I went for Skeld instead of Protect. But he goes for a Night Sheet twice in a row. I was like, wait, what just happened? But still, he's in a range where I could just KO him with pretty much anything. So, I'm going to bring in my uh, Thunderous again, and I'm just going to start... Pulling off Thunders one by one because that is what Thunderous is supposed to do. So all that he has left now is his Ambipom and his Hydreigon. Or no, not the Hydreigon, something else. But anyways, I was fearing the fake out here, but it turns out he thought he was faster and he could just kill me off with a Retaliate or something. But that's not the case today. And his final Pokemon is his Konoha! And I know I could probably do a decent amount with Thunder because even though Leafeon resists it, it still got 90 base power and Leafeon has terrible, 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 terrible special defense and it doesn't gonna, it's not gonna like a modest max special attack Thunder from Thunderous. Not at all. So basically he goes for a Sword Stance here basically knowing that the match is mine. So that'll be a good game. I'll put his channel in the description so you should go check him out. He's a pretty good battler. Um, my Final Fantasy 4 LP parts, I should probably have like one or two of those up tomorrow at some point. So be sure to be on the lookout for those. Um, as for my next Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi battle, that should be within the next few days too. So... Yeah, be on the lookout for that stuff. Anyways, that's the end for today's battle. And I'm probably fucking up because it's like almost 3 in the morning. But anyways, that's beside the point. Um, Like I said, check out my other videos which will be posted tomorrow at some point in time. And this is pretty much all for today. So this is Straylarctica9000 signing out. Ciao.